In this example, we want to find the sum of the series. Uh, in this case, this is going to be a telescoping series. And in order to expand this, we need to apply uh, the partial fraction decomposition method. Okay, so let's do that over here. Okay, so using partial fractions. Okay, so we're going to get, um, if we're going to factor the denominator here, so we have 2 over 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1. So that's just using the difference of squares. So for each factor, so this is a distinct linear factor, so for each factor we need to have a constant. So that's going to be a over 2n minus 1 plus b over 2n plus 1. Okay, so then from here we're going to get, right, uh, we're going to go ahead and solve for a and b. So here we're going to have a times 2n plus 1 plus b times 2n minus 1. And that, that we want this expression to be equal to 2. Okay, so this corresponds to the numerator. Okay, so then from there, let's see, we're going to get 2a, so 2a n plus a plus 2a, not 2a, 2b, 2b n minus 2, this is actually, sorry, so minus b equals to 2. Okay, so let's gather up the uh, n terms and the constants. So we're going to get 2a plus 2b times n, okay, plus a minus b is equal to 2. Okay, so this, okay, this part was coming from here and here, okay. And then we have this one, this one is going to here. Okay, so that means, okay, this is going to be paired up with, okay, so we don't have an n term over here. This part is going to be paired up with the 2, okay. Okay, so actually this part, so this part is going to go all the way over here. Okay, so then from here, uh, we can solve for a and b now. So we're going to have 2a, okay, so 2a plus 2b okay, that's going to be equal to 2, and then we have a minus b equals to 0, or equals to, let's see, no, that's going to be a minus b will be equal to 2. The above will be 0. Okay, so then from here we can um, solve, go ahead and solve this. This is going to give us 2a plus 2b equals to 0. Multiply the bottom by 2. And then we can use elimination. So this is going to give us 4a equals to 4. So therefore a is going to be 1. So then from there uh, we can get, right, from this one we can get b. So b is going to be negative 1. Okay, so that's just using partial fractions. Okay, so then from there, um, let's rewrite our sum. So we have that the summation going from n equals 1 to infinity of 2 over 4n squared minus 1 is the same as summation of 1 over, let's see which one was for my first term, 1 over 2n minus 1. Plus, actually it's going to be minus 1 over, let's see, 1 over 2 plus 1. Okay. 
Okay, so that's for that's for two, two n minus one. That was our a value for one, and then for the value above two n plus one, that was our b value, which was negative one. Okay, so now we can expand on this. Okay, so expanding on this, we're going to get, let's say, for n equals to uh, 1, we're going to get, let's see, 1, and then for, we get 1 third here, okay, and then for n equals to 2, we're going to get 1 third minus 1 fifth. Okay, for n equals to 3, we are going to get 1 fifth minus 1 seventh, and so on. Okay, so in general, okay, you can see, you can see that these, uh, the middle terms will cancel out. So we have 1 minus 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus See, actually it's minus minus one fifth plus one fifth and then minus one seventh and then so on okay so these terms in the middle are going to cancel out and eventually one seventh will cancel out if we take this out far enough so from here we can come up with a general form for the for the nth partial sum so s of n is going to be one minus all right so this was for Okay, so this was for n equals to 1, n equals to 2, and n equals to 3. So that means when n is 3, if we plug it into here, okay, we're going to get, we get 1 seventh. So that means that we have 1 minus 1 over 2 n plus 1. So the last, the when we stop at a certain n value, the last term is going to be uh, this one here, okay. Okay, so now we can take the limit, okay, so we're going to take the limit of s of n, so this is going to go to 1, because 1 over 2n plus 1, as n goes to infinity, it's going to be 1, or it's actually going to go 0, so that's going to leave us with 1, so therefore the series, okay, Okay, this this is a right, this infinite series is going to go to one. Okay. 